Hey guys, welcome back to Fire Emblem Path of Radiance. Last time, we were rescued by Leith and Mordecai from our dire situation. And Soren, uh, well he said some things he probably shouldn't have said, but, you know, can't really control him when he's being like that, I guess. <laughs> Either way, we were finally entered into Gallia, and we're going to try and, you know, get even further. But we do have some support and info to read up about. We have a lot of info to read about. I guess we'll go for the supports first. So we've got Ike and Soren. Ike always bonds with the racists. <laughs> it makes sense. So that's how we went. How, that's how much we spent. <laughs> okay, that's how we went. What? Supplies are running low. We need dried meat, fresh fruit. Ike, are you even listening? Huh? Oh, sorry. I wasn't paying attention. At least he's truthful. <laughs> he's like, I don't give a shit. I would have never guessed. Sorry, Soren. Look, could you run the report by me again? You're tired, Ike. You need rest. Go find a cot somewhere. I don't... You know, I think when you're on, like, the road, you probably won't have a cot. But then again, all these support conversations can happen out of order, so it doesn't really matter. You can tell? Of course. When you're not feeling well, your left eye twitches. That is creepy that you know that. That's odd. I never noticed. Get some sleep. I can manage things for a few hours. Well, I am pretty beat. Go. You know, Soren, you're not as nearly as insensitive as others say. Deep down, you're a big softy. Also a big racist. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I'm going. Hmm. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Uh, well, there are currently no beds. Don't let the rocks bite. Though they probably would dig into your skin and kill you. Very nice. Alright, so now we got to Tanya and Reese. How are you feeling, Reese? Good. No fevers or shaking today. Thanks for asking. You know, I was just thinking about the first time we met. It's almost a year ago to this day. Was it really? Oh, you're right. My, time does fly. Of course, I don't remember much of the initial encounter. Since I was unconscious and bleeding. Ha. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like... You know me, it's, it's hard to exist sometimes. Remember that? I don't know why we didn't bring a, a healer with us that day. Finding bandits without a staff? Not smart. I was lucky to have found you. I didn't... I don't usually venture that deep into the forest, but I was short on medicinal herbs. Yeah, those bandits were a tough, were a rough lot. Their stomping ground was right near your village, actually. It's all coming back to me now. They were tougher than I thought. We took most of them out with ease, but one fled into the woods and I gave chase. Big mistake. My horse got hung up in the undergrowth and that bandit got the drop on me. At least Shinon hit him before I was killed. Gatri and Shinon were both really worried when we brought you back to my parents' house. Really? I didn't know that. Hmm. I didn't think Shinon ever worried about anyone. But they stayed with me until my wounds were healed. I remembered that. You know, if it wasn't for your good work, I wouldn't have been able to use my axe anymore. I really appreciate it. No, I should thank you. You convinced Grail to hire me, and now I can send money back to my parents. They're both so old, and I'm their only source of income. Your parents were very kind, especially your mother. She made, she made that great wild berry pie. I don't know why you're going to be eating wild berries, but, you know. <laughs> it's like, I want to eat unpastured milk or eggs. Milk can be unpastured, maybe. I don't know, just not a good idea. But then again, they are in medieval times, so they can't really process anything. So, eh. <laughs> I go, eh. To repair their kindness, I will protect their only son no matter what. You know, Reese, you got yourself a MILF on your hands. You better take it. <laughs> this is the only chance you're getting. You better take it. Oh, I appreciate that, Titania. He, she likes younger men. You know, you know what I've always said? I like tall women, and I like older women. So, you know, best combo. Do I like redheads? Uh, maybe. <laughs> I give that a maybe out of 10. All right, anyway, enough about supports. Let's go into the info. All right, Soren, what do you got to say to us? He's come here to tell us his rhetoric. Hmm. What's wrong, Soren? Are preparations complete? Yes. Everything's ready. You, know, you only have a few robes and musty books. 
I'm taking a bit less, but it looks as though you travel light as well. The burden of unnecessary items is something I detest. Me too. We're alike in that, <laughs> in that, aren't we? Hmm. What is it? You've got that worried look again. Well, um, it's nothing. Never mind. Everyone's really slow, aren't they? Shall I go and see what's taking them? Soren, don't worry about it. Hmm? Sitting here in the morning, in the sunlight, it helps me to understand. I'm alive. I have trustworthy friends. Also racist ones, but, you know, sometimes you gotta have a couple of those. <laughs> I don't know why. That's how, that's how I know I can go on. Just hope I'm not fooling myself. No, you're not. You're not. Well then, it's business as usual. I know we'll have troubles, but let us set our shoulders straight and get on with it. Understood. Alright, let's see what's up with Mist. No more crying. Oh, Ike, good morning. My voice keeps changing. Hmm, morning. Are you alright? If I said I were, I'd be lying, but I'm doing my best. Yesterday, I was so confused, and my voice is still fucking up. Voice cracking while doing an impression. This isn't even an impression. It's just random fucking noises. Then I awoke this morning and saw the blue sky, felt the sun on my face, and I thought, I'm alive. The sunlight was so warm. I mean, it all it's always warm, but for some reason it made me want to cry, mostly because the sun was in my eyes, and I didn't like that. Oh, mist. Your eyes are too big. <laughs> it's up to us. We must live the fullest lives we can. We have to live for mother and for father. We mustn't dishonor their memory. So, um, I may think about them. I may cry every now and then, but I'll carry on. You're right. Everything you said is right. We'll carry on together. Right. Oh, sorry. I have to hurry and get ready. See you later, brother! Brother! Liquid! <laughs> yes, look at the time. Get a move on, will ya? Alright, what's going on with Mordecai? He's all I care about. Ike, are you prepared? Can we depart soon? It's taking more time than I thought. Sorry for making you wait. I see. I will talk with you as we wait. Ugh, my words. Are they well? Can you understand them? Sure, no problem. I understand you. That is good. Mordecai is not so good with this language. It's interesting to learn that uh, the Lagoos have a different language than the Baroque. <laughs> what language do you normally use? With others of my tribe, I need no words. I say all that I must with gestures and with... How do you say it? Growls? That sounds convenient. Yes. But our tongue but our tongue does not let us talk to other tribes. That is not good. That is why we learn these modern words. <laughs> I would think that would be enough, being able to speak with only your friends, wouldn't it? It is not. If there is danger or conflict, we can use words to avoid a fight that need not be. So using words that many can hear is good. Hmm. Using words to avoid unnecessary fighting. That's one way to think about it. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you guys talked about, but I... We talked to Mia. Why the, Why are you here with us again? <laughs> why are you hanging out with us? I completely forgot. Oh, boss. Morning. Good morning. You ready to go? All set. It doesn't matter how late I go to sleep. I'm always awake before the sun rises. I can leave whenever. Um, I'm sorry. You know, for everything that's happened, it's all so sudden. Oh, it's nothing. It's been rough on you, hasn't it? I could say the same to you. I can't have... <laughs> it can't have been easy joining a band of wanted mercenaries and fighting every day. Oh, it's not so bad. You were forced to join us by the whims of fate, not by choice. I like that song, Whims of Fate. It's from Persona. <laughs> I know my father said you had a debt to repay, but he's not here anymore. If you want to leave, I won't stop you. Um, er... Ah! What, are you just screaming? Ah, what? Oh, times. Times like this. I never have any idea of what I'm supposed to say. None. 
Uh, darn. Hold on. Yesterday, in the middle of that giant mess, you didn't give up, boss. And I knew. <laughs> that is how a true man lives. So now I have to follow you, you see? I think so? That's my story, boss. So do me a favor and don't, let me, don't tell me to get lost. I'm good to have around, you'll see. I mean, your stats say a different story, but uh, you can try. If that's how you feel, I guess I understand. I'm counting on you. Don't let me down. Never. I wouldn't know how. Are you sure about that? Oh, we have to go, have to go talk to Oscar. <laughs> it's me, Garfield. Hey, good morning, Ike. How are you feeling today? Yesterday's battle was a rough one, wasn't it? Hi, Oscar. You and your weird-ass voice. Yes, I'm sore all over. Every muscle in my body hurts. Hopefully I'll feel better after I move around for a while. I hope for the same. When I woke up, it was all I could do to get out of bed. We're truly lucky to be alive. He just wants to thank the lover of light. <laughs> Those two beast fighters hadn't arrived when they did. We might have been wiped out. Yeah. Like... I can't say I know what, what you're going through or how you feel. I mean, Oscar, like, didn't you, didn't Boyd tell us that, like, you guys lost your, your, like, mother and father, and then Grail took you in pretty much as his own kids? I think you would understand how Ike feels, because you lost your father as well. I think you understand how he feels. <laughs> but you should try to remember that all happened, remember all that happened last night. The men we fought were professionals. Well trained under the command of a cunning tactician, but not invincible. You're saying they follow certain they follow certain rules? Specific patterns? Yes, I see. If I can learn what they are, they become vulnerable. Next time we meet, we won't lose. I mean you didn't really lose, you just kinda held out for as long as you could. Her What? For an instant there, looking at you was like looking at Commander Grail. I'm his son. I'm supposed to look like him, aren't I? I mean, you don't really resemble Grail at all. That's what I've always felt when playing this game. He doesn't look like Grail at all. So that's my confusion. It wasn't that. It wasn't an aura or a hunch or anything like that. I don't know what to call it. It was more like the core of your character. It felt the same as his. Huh. <laughs> Sorry, that must have sounded pretty stupid. I mean, your voice sounds stupid. It might have sounded different coming out of a different voice. <laughs> Oscar? Commander? Now on, when I practice, would you join me? I'd be more familiar with the fighting style of knights. Of course. If there's anything I can do to help, you only need to ask. What a heartwarming conversation, even though it's coming out of a that weird voice. Anyway, I want to show off that, yes, our characters are at least all at level 8, except for Titania, uh, and Mia's at level 10. But I did the whole uh, resetting until we got good growths for everybody. Ilana is still kind of shit, but she actually... Does she have any better stats? She's got more resistance than uh, Soren, so she still will prove useful in certain ways. Mia is... Well... Uh, she's better than Oscar in some ways. Like, she's got the same amount of attack, same amount of magic. They're neither going to use magic. Uh, more skill, more speed, more luck. Two less defense, but two more resistance. So, yeah, they're kind of on equal footing, which is interesting to think about. But either way, uh, I did want to look into the skills stuff, since we did have... We did get a skill scroll or whatever earlier in the game. And I wanted to see if we could actually use it. The Miracle Scroll. I don't know if it's a sign. Miracle. So, it reduces any lethal blow to half damage. Probably not the best idea for Oscar, since, well... He is very... He's got more defense. Hmm. Let's see. What does Vantage do again on her? She always gets to move first, doesn't she? Hmm. Well, either way... She's got the least amount of def actually. Hmm. I'm just thinking about who would be better if they could survive a a lethal hit. I think Alana might be able to use it. There you go. 
now you'll be able to use that where Alana, if she does take a lethal hit, she'll actually take half damage. So that's good by me, so. All right, enough dilly-dallying around. We got to go ahead and start continuing the story here to leave base. Yeah, drink my pink lemonade. Some people like strawberry lemonade. I'm a pink lemonade kind of guy. I don't know why. Like, regular lemonade tastes great, but pink lemonade... I don't know. I can't really describe what pink lemonade's flavor even is. It's pink. I don't know. What is... I'm going to search this up. What is pink lemonade made out of? I don't know what the flavor is. What is pink lemonade made from? It's made from cranberry juice, grenadine, uh, and crushed raspberries or strawberries. So I think it's like the mixture between cranberry juice and strawberries or whatever that tastes really good. I don't know why. I mean, I am drinking Minute Maid, so it's all processed. I was just trying to figure out what that flavor is because I couldn't bring a name to it. This place brings back such memories. It hasn't changed in the slightest. It's Tanya, have you been to Gallia before? A long time ago, when I was still a knight of Crimea, I volunteered for a military officer exchange program and spent some time studying at Gallia's royal palace. I get it now. That's why you weren't surprised when we saw the Lagoos. That's right. Oh, I've missed the sea. When the setting sun strikes the water, it's almost as if the horizon itself is on fire. Hmm. Now that I think about it, my father knew where the old castle was. He sure acted like someone who's been to Gallia before. Was he here with you? Mm-hmm. We weren't the only ones. You've been here too, Ike. What? Ike. It's Mordecai. You better answer him. Yeah, but... We can finish our talk later, after we've reached the castle. Well, that was cryptic. <laughs> At least he ain't telling the wrong. What is it, Mordecai? Do you tire? Should we rest here? No, I think we're all right. Good. Baroque are such weak species. Such a weak species. A distance like this is nothing. Any lagoos worth his claw would cross it in a single bound. You can jump over, like, the entire, like, map? That's pretty insane. Why don't you do that? <laughs> Leith. Hmm. It is the truth. If you persist in this way, you shall shame the king. You sound like a fool. Hiss. You are my subordinate. Never speak to me in such a way. I mean, Mordecai, he's cool. You're not. What's wrong? What's wrong is wrong. <laughs> you are a fierce warrior, Leith. But when it comes to the Baroque, you are far too stubborn. What did you say? Come on now, both of you. Let's calm down. <laughs> Never say those words, Ike. It doesn't make people calm down. You should just say, chill, <laughs> or something dumb like that. Also, is Princess Alencia all the way in the back right there? I thought she went to the Royal Palace. Why the fuck is she hanging out behind us? Maybe I'm just like, maybe that's Boyd. No, that's not Boyd. <laughs> Boyd is right next to her. I don't know what's going on. Mordecai. Wait. What is it? That smell on the wind. It's iron. It is the smell of weapons. The smell of Baroque. Heavily armored. Well armed. Are you sure? No, no, it's a castle. Why, why are you guys are you guys invading Gallia at the same time? General Kotaf! The Crimean mercenaries have entered our area of operations. Ha! Ah, they're trapped! Call every last man, ready for battle! We'll stop the enemy here! I mean, you can try... Fort Tatana. Tatana. Fort Tatana. I don't know. I don't know. Black armor. They're Dane men, alright. You're saying that some... some... <laughs> Are you saying that some of the invasion force is still around? Dane worms. They strut about the Gallian forests as though they own them. I won't stand for it. Urgh. The castle to the south. Many Baroque are inside. They carry iron weapons. I smell them. You can smell. <laughs> I can smell with my soul. Not good. Titania, gather everyone together. Ha. Huh. Understood. What now? What do you mean? If you hope to crush the worms, you do well to capture the ruins to the south. Since you probably want to flee, there is an escape route. We're going to fight. 
Oh? There are times when running has its advantages, but I don't think we'll lose here. I see. I will also fight. Good. We could use the help. Ike, everyone's here. Alright, let's go. I want you two to take Mist and Rolf and retreat to the rear. Of course. We're counting on you. Be careful. Everyone who can fight, grab a weapon. Rail mercenaries, move out. Alrighty then, so... Uh, I guess we're allowed to use all of our characters again, which is great. I'm gonna go ahead and save and just go into this battle. Chapter 9. Chapter 9. Alright. Oh shit, missed. Ike! Missed. You and Rolf's clear out of here. Stay back, no matter what. No, Ike! We're going to fight with you! Both of us! What? No, that's not going to happen. Be serious, miss. The two of you can't even wield weapons. I've got this! A heal staff? <laughs> yes! I made Reese teach me how to use it! I can heal injuries! I mean, just little ones, but still! Little ones? No, there's no way I'm letting you onto this battlefield. Huh? Oh, hi, oh, hi you. Rolf, stop being such a brat, you little twerp. I'm going to fight, too. I'm good with a bow. Really? That's news to me. Is that the best lie you could come up with? It's no lie. That's right! He's not lying! Of course he is. What are you talking about, Mist? Rolf's always been practicing with his bow! He's really good, aren't you? I sure am. And when did you learn to use a bow? Well, let's see. Oh, th this is my voice as well now. <laughs> um, I guess I just sort of picked it up naturally. Stop lying, you booger-eating brat. You still can't, you can't pick up, you can't just pick up a weapon and start firing away. Someone has to teach you the basics. Well, maybe I'm just a prodigy, because I learned it all myself. You little... You don't know anything, Boyd! That's right. This is ridiculous. Enough. You two go back. No! We don't want to! Do you guys want to get yourselves killed? All Rolf and I do... All Rolf and I do is sit and wait and worry for you all! We're tired of waiting! And the voice cracks! We're, we want to fight by your side! Is that so? How about it, Rolf? Is that how you feel too? Uh-huh. No doubt. I'd rather be here with you. Ugh. What now, Commander? We take them with us. We're too pressed for time to be sitting around here bickering. And at least if they're nearby, they'll be easier to protect. Are you serious? Yes. You won't regret this, Ike. I promise. I hope not. Yay, we get two more members. They both really suck. Rolf. Oh, God, Rolf. <laughs> I will tell you. Oh, boy. Only Rolf can wield the Rolf bow. But he sucks massive dick. Yes, Rolf is horrible. He's the first regular archer we get in the, in the game. And I believe in the entire game. Yes, he is the only archer you get in the entire game. And he is dog shit. <laughs> he is absolute dog shit. Then you get Mist, who is not actually that bad. She's just a cleric. Then again, you're not going to be using her for fighting. She's going to be healing, so... Mist is more useful than Rolf. Rolf is, like, fucking useless. Like, I give him a 0 out of 10. But either way, we have to seize the area, and there's also two shacks we gotta go to over here, so gotta do that we gotta be worried about the the pirate that's gonna run over there and take it because only the pirates will actually pirates or bandits will actually take that stuff no no one else will so uh what should we do hmm. well, we've got this big old force of fuckers coming there we also have some allied units i can't actually control mordecai and leith they'll kind of just do whatever they want uh i'm probably gonna have titania and oscar move down this way uh, maybe, like, right here? Yeah. Move them down here. The sad thing is that horses are really bad on, uh, sand in this game. So, therefore, they are going to be pretty much useless when trying to cross something like, uh, 
something like that. So instead, we're going to actually need to use walking units to go ahead and take care of those uh, those shacks over there that we need to get to. So I'm going to go ahead and have you guys head this direction. Um, let's see. Probably have Soren go with them. Mist, you can go with uh, your brother and have everybody else kind of act as a forward squad to help out all the guys over this way. I could have Mia kind of sit up right next to everybody else. What weapon she got equipped? She's got that. Okay. And just kind of, we need a healer up here. Rolf is utterly useless, but we'll use him nonetheless. He can sit back, maybe pick up a random kill. Maybe he'll just have really good growth rates. It's called partner phase instead of ally phase, I guess. Um, I don't think we really need to know about transformations, but we can watch a tutorial since we haven't spoken to Anna in a while. Drink some soda. Mm. Uh, let me explain transformation. Units belonging units belong to one of two tribes, the Baroque and the Lagoos. Under normal circumstances, they look alike, but the Lagoos change themselves to fight. This is called transformation. The transform gauge shows the power built up for transformation into beast form. The transformation gauge increases by four after every turn, and increases two more when the lagoos are attacked. When the gauge reaches 20, the lagoos transforms. Okay. <laughs> the transform unit are the transform units are very powerful. They get extra stats while in transformed mode. Yeah, the Lagoos are fucking OP in this game. That's why I love them. They're kind of like Manakeets. Ex they're exactly Manakeets. Since they don't promote either, just like Manakeets. Which, the only two Manakeets that were in Mystery of the Emblem were... Was it Goto? And Tiki. So, yeah, you probably saw the Manakeets in those games. If you watch my other playthroughs. But they, but their altered state is temporary. After they've, tra after they've changed, the gauge drops by three after every turn. And then it falls another one if they fight. The gauge will eventually drop down to zero. And then they are useless in their human form. They don't have any weaponry. The process will repeat itself. Take advantage of the Lagoo's special ability to gain the edge in battle. That's it for the transformation tutorial. Don't go don't blindly go after enemies just because you've transformed. Be sure to pay attention to the transform gauge as you fight. I am good. The sad thing is we can't actually control Leith and Mordecai right now. Leith starts with like max transformation gauge, so she's already ready to go out and fight, while Mordecai starts with no transformation gauge. But Mordecai is OP as hell. So, yeah. It doesn't really matter to him. He can just kill whenever he wants. It, he's also super bulky, so... Yeah, enemies are going to have a really hard time having to hit him. Okay. We do have to worry about those guys coming up the ways. And that guy trying to get over there. By the way, what is it? If there, if there is some special task you'd, you would ask of us, we are li willing to listen. What are you talking about? Bah, open your ears. If you do wish it, we shall follow your orders. Yes, but you must direct us. Really? You're willing to take orders from me? This is a Baroque fight. If you don't direct us, then we have no reason to be here. So spoke our king. But last night, you... That, that was an emergency. We thought you were in danger. I mean, we were. We thought correctly. We were in danger. I thank you. We were greatly aided by your arrival. You are welcome. Hmm. Very well. Let us fight together. If you choose not to direct us, we shall do as we please. Do you find that acceptable? Of course. Well then, good fortune to us all. Uh, we don't really need to care about the direct thing, because I probably won't be using it that much. But, uh, whenever you just stop, you have the power to select the direct command, which can pretty much say, like, you can tell, like, units that are in partner mode to, like, target certain things, to stop moving, to avoid things, stuff like that. And then you can tell them to literally just target an area and go there. I don't know. I think for now, they're fine just sitting where they are. Because in partner mode, uh, they don't actually get any experience. So, sadly, they're going to be useless in this fight, though they are OP as hell. 
Wait where you are. I'll get back to you in a while. Let's see. Just go ahead and have him stop there. Let's see. Soren, can you uh, clean up this boy? This nice boy? Let's see. Yes. Train your train your thunder magic. Oh, he's got a pole axe. Do not let this thing go near mist. It will be a horrible thing. All right. We're going to have Soren and uh, Boyd clean this boy up. Let's see. I mean, either or works. Either or works. Get fucked. Ah. I actually did want Boyd to get hit so that Mist could get some experience because she's not going to be getting any experience unless she's full healing. And she starts at level 1, so getting her to level up is going to be a pain. But I will be trying to make her OP as fuck because I like using her. Uh, go ahead and shove Soren 1 forward. <laughs> it's weird that a little girl can shove him around, but, you know, whatever they say. Let's see. Mia, can you get up there and help? Uh, not really. Okay. <laughs> um, how much is left of her axe? It's running out. We need to buy her, like, some new shit. Don't you have some shit on you? You have a steel lance, but that's not really helpful. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and have Mia wait here. Let's see. Um... That'd be enough. Nah, it wouldn't. Can you kill the mage? Can you kill the mage? Huh. Like the mage is faster than you, Boyd. Big sad. Alright. Go ahead and kill this dude if we can. We both got steel lances. Yours does a fuck shit of damage. Fuck shit of damage. Oh, his weapon level leveled up. That's cool. Let's see. Alright. Uh, who should we kill? Uh, I guess the mage. Since it will be more dangerous to everybody sitting around right here. Bye-bye, you hat-wearing weirdo. You weird hat-wearing we 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 werewolf. Mm. Pink lemonade. Let's go pink lemonade. Let's see. That should be fine. Let's see, we should probably not move any of our our weak sauce units any closer than this. Just kind of have them all take up the rear in case. All right, partner phase, they'll stick there because I told them to. I'll just keep you two alive. <laughs> all right, I want to fuck with Boyd or uh, Oscar. <laughs> That's Boyd right there. He just got a horse for no reason. All right. You can't stop Ike. He's got the human killer. Even if you hit him with a fucking bolt of lightning. Yeah, he just he doesn't give a shit. He's just like, I don't give a shit. Alright. Oh no. They're coming in. Oh, they're gonna get their asses handed to them. Look at her go. Making those kills up for everybody. Though we are going to have to deal with that guy. No, pirate. No. The sad thing is they can move really far on... Ah, uh, they can move really far on sand. We're pretty much like leaving uh, Ike out to the fishes, but that is okay. Let's see. Can you... Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. Let's see. How far out can Mist go? Right there. Okay. I'm going to go ahead... Yeah. We need to kill this guy, but he needs to hurt us. You need to hurt me. <laughs> Good job. Thanks for hurting Boyd. Now we can actually start leveling up Mist. I just need people to be hurt. You must get hurt. Very good. Let's see. Uh, that won't be close enough to hurt anybody. So if... Soren goes right there... Mist can go right here and heal up Boyd. There you go. She's not even using a fucking staff. She's just using her hand. <laughs> I'll heal you with my hand. That doesn't sound right. Yeah, it don't sound right. Do it. All right. Um, let's see. Alana, could you come in and pick up a kill? 
Ah, uh, she's not close enough. Ah, uh, door stuck. Door stuck. Let's see, armor slayer. Yeah, pick up the kill. <laughs> Mia, you need levels. So murder this man. Good Jorb. Steve Jorbs says good Jorbs. I keep saying that. Why do I keep saying that? New, new catchphrase. I don't even mean for it to be a catchphrase. Um... Alana, can you now go over here? I want you to kill this guy, though. <laughs> I'm like, Alana, do the thing right. Well, I guess we'll have to leave it off to Rolf. Oh, shit, Rolf, get him. Child attack. <laughs> you ever had a game scream, Child attack! Well, this game now does. The child attack worked. Hmm. I could put Boyd over there, though he is. He actually only has 12 health. I did not think about that. How about you come over here, Reese, and heal up Oscar, because he is not doing well. Get him back up. There we go. Zrunk. Yeah, the best way to kind of level up healers is going to be through, uh, what is it? Um, what is it? Uh, using bonus XP, just because it's like, it's easier to level them up that way because they don't have to just sit around and heal somebody for hours. Which can take forever. Alright, Ike, fuck them up. I mean, we're, we actually need you to fuck them up this time around. Arr, pirate, you're gonna fucking die. Alright, this might hurt. Oh shit. She gets to attack first because of vantage. Ugh. <laughs> oh no, Mia. No good. No, you fucker. Holy shit, who the hell is that? Oh, it's you again. Let's see now. Where are they? Aha! I found them. Airborne units tutorial. Uh, I've already shown off airborne units in earlier games. Uh, they can go really far and do not get, like, fucked over by terrain. So, yeah, that's what an airborne unit is. Flying boys, flying girls, pretty much it's always going to be a flying girl. Unless it's a wyvern rider. Not unless it's up, penis. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> All right, we got rid of that guy. All right. Uh, could you kill this man? Kill this man that you just found? We go. Oh shit, he's gonna crit. The fucking sword didn't give a shit. And destroyed him. I mean, you are gonna kill him, but you know, fun to see you do a little spin. Ah. All right. Um. I guess we'll just have Boyd kind of ride on out. We actually need uh, Marcia, who, if you remember from Chapter Three, to go kind of go ahead and go talk to Ike for us. Which I think she'll be doing anyway, so that's okay. Um, yeah, Mia, you're not doing well at all. You're going to run that direction. You are going to run that direction. All right. Uh, mend, mend or heal, it doesn't matter to me. <laughs> Might have been a better idea to put Mist down here, since it seems like everybody down here takes a lot more damage. But, you know, it's all right. Let's see, damn, Alana, fuck him up. This man ain't got a chance. Oh, she's gonna crit. There you go. All right. You are down. That is good, amen. All right. Alana, I mean, she does have that evolved tome. Not really an evolved tome, but I will call it that. Let's see, so we have some people getting ready. They're probably gonna head out to our position. Um, we just need to kind of move everybody up. Stay together, gang. If we don't stay together, we're gonna get fucked. Rolf, maybe you are useful. Let's go ahead and move you up a bit more. Alright, uh... Did I move everybody? I moved everybody up there. I guess the only one we haven't moved is Titania. But Titania really doesn't need to move currently. Partner phase. Enemy phase. Alright, Ike. Just survive out there. <laughs> Using your human killer. Damn, he didn't double that mercenary. Man, Ike, you gotta start speeding up. 
All right. Yeah, he's going to get hit really hard by this magic user. Ooh, actually, no. He only got hit for, like, two damage. Good job, Ike. You don't suck. Other phase. Not called ally phase. It's called other phase. Oh, shit. Arg. Yo-ho-ho. yo ho ho Scallywags of the sea we are. We fight like beasts. And men do flee. We earn our gold with axes, axe bold. Yar, ye scurvy bilge rat, why aren't ye singing? Yar, over there, <laughs> Ned Dada. Fix your eyes on that. Do ye seize what I seize? Oh ho ho, what's this then? Humans battling humans here in Galia? What in the briny beard of Shanty Pete is going on? Oi, do you think they could be? <laughs> <laughs> they may be the king's curs out to capture us and claim our bounty. Gar! <laughs> Shall we unfurl the mainsail and steer for calmer waters? Bite your tongue, ye you kelp-brained idiot. idiot. We are pirates. We don't turn tail from government scum. Not government scum. I'm going ashore. Watch me and you'll see a true sea dog in action. Yar, well said. You've set me blood a-boil. I'm with ye all the way, matey. Arr, let's see what we can see them. What? See then. <laughs> Yar, me axe is sharp and me spirit is bold. Yarro! yo ho -har. The fuck is going on? The pirates of the Caribbean are here and they're being dickish. Okay, uh, so you see those pirates? Yeah, they don't get to walk very far, but they do get more movement on water than regular units. So we're just going to go ahead. We need to kind of get over to those houses before anything bad happens to them. So, yeah. Mm. Fuck up the magic guy. I can get healed later by mist. Damn. He fucking hit us point blank. Too bad he fucking sucks. He's like, no, my life sucks. All right. Well, we got through there. Uh, Boyd, can you go over there and fuck this guy up? Yes, you can. <laughs> now I'm stuck in pirate talk. Yes, you can. Yar. I can feel my balls growing. If somebody walks up to you and says, I can feel me balls. Uh, please, no. <laughs> you go, no. I do not want to feel ye balls. E balls are growing into your stomach. Uh, let's see. Mist should probably retreat. Retreat the fuck out of there. Can she talk to Marcia? Nah, I guess she doesn't know Marcia. Alright. You are just gonna stay over here. I do have to worry about this guy. Though I guess we thread the needle enough. Boyd, you go ahead and just go over here. And then just wait. Just because we need to get over to those houses. Uh, let's see. So everybody should be doing pretty all right over here. Now we kind of just need to, uh, you know, funnel everybody that way. Um, there is this guy. But it's kind of hard to even, like, draw him over. So I'm just going to go ahead, move our, move our uh, boys up, or our girl and boy. Let's see. Go over here. Go over here, I guess. I think we'll be fine. <laughs> oh, he's finally transformed into his thing. Too bad it doesn't really matter to us, but you know. Alright. Ah, uh, hammer missed. Damn, Boyd is... Boyd is taking a lot of damage. You see, they're fast on the water. Smoke on the water, you may even say. Okay. Got your bow. It does like five damage. <laughs> Alright. See what Marcia does. You are not Ike. Oh shit. Uh, Boyd is really damn hurt. I need Ike to kind of. Yeah, you can also kind of change your angle if you're, uh. If you use the C-Stick. Alright. 
We really don't care about fighting anything. We're just trying to run away. We're going to run away. Let's see, we do have to worry about her doing something really dumb. But it shouldn't be too bad. Let's see, Mia, I need you to go up this way. And prepare for that guy to come our direction. Don't come in my general direction. Let's see. Go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see. How much range do you guys got? Like right there? Okay. Let's see, how much range does this archer got? Let's see. Do you, are we looking at both of you? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Alana, if you could just stand in front of his asshole and kill him, that'd be very nice. Or at least get some experience out of him. Okay. Gotcha. Rolf could probably pick up the kill if I want him to. I mean, I guess he's the only one that is over here that could extra help. Alright. Ah, oh, like, oh, what did I say? Fucking dog shit. Fucking dog shit. Um. Does he have his javelin still? No, he doesn't. Okay, well. Um. I'm like, um. Let's see. Why do you just suck, Oscar? Why do you suck so bad? All right, you go ahead and wait here, Titania. Um, Oscar, I really need you to hit this attack. Do it. There you go. I could have had Rolf do it, but like Rolf would only do like six damage. He's just not all that useful currently. And then wait there. Rolf, you go ahead and kind of help out over here. Reese is the healer. He can't do much of fucking anything. Um, all right. I'm trying to see what I can do here. It's going... They're not going to be able to get over to the land quite yet. They're all just going to have to sit there and wait. I guess Soren and Mist will just sit here and do absolutely nothing. Damn, you really want Boyd's precious ass. Sorry, but Boyd's for another man. Ike, I guess. Come on, dude. Man, Boyd is not our boy currently. Yeah, try and fight Mia. Let's see how this goes. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, she gets to go first. I forgot. All right, good job. Good job. Here they come. See, I really shouldn't have that hammer equipped to Boyd. It's just not a good idea. All right. Took like a couple of damage. All right, Marcia should be flying over to Ike. Yep. Oh shit, a million people just jumped out of nowhere. Okay, Ike uh, or Boyd, what can we do to save you? Hmm. Uh, first of all, let's go over here. Item. Equip an iron axe instead. I just don't know what to do. Um. I guess I'll have Ike talk to Marcia. Ike! You! You're that! That's right! It's me, Marcia! As promised, I'm here to pay my debt. I'm gonna join your group! Join us? But I thought you were one of the Holy Knight- Holy Pegasus Knights of Begneon. <laughs> I resigned. So what do you say? Are you- are you going to let me in or what? Come on! Are you sure about this? I mean, I'll be honest with you. We're a destitute band of mercenaries. Your wages will be- will be a pittance compared to what you've been used to. So what? Are you saying no? No, I'm simply pointing out that you'll be losing <laughs> losing almost all of <laughs> I won't lose out on anything. Plus, I will, I'll work twice as hard as anyone else. Come on, please, will you, please let me join, please? Well, if that's what you want, I guess we'll give it a shot. We're, we're shorthanded though, we're gonna be busy. 
Huzzah! That's great! Just tell me what needs doing. Well, I currently need you to go kill that mercenary over there. He needs to die. Okay, um... Or this soldier right here. He needs to die because he's gonna kill Boyd. And Boyd won't be our boy if he's dead. Oh, God. Damn. She sucks. Okay, can you rescue Boyd? Does she have Cantu? Okay, let's go ahead and... Yeah, we have that, so... Rescue Boyd. Get the fuck out. Boyd is in a lot of pain. Let's see. All right. Uh, let's see. Mia, if you could kill this guy real quick. Uh, oh, damn. We can actually double using the Armor Slayer on this guy? That is odd. Okay. I guess he just sucks that much. That's okay. Even if we're using up this Armor Slayer too fast. Damn. He hurts. <laughs> you fucking hurt, dude. Either way, you're dead. Big sad. Okay. We should probably get Mist and Sorin out of the way. Just because those guys are going to be coming up onto land. Keep going, Sorin. Alright. Well, we do have this problem. We now have a million people walking up on us. Um, can anybody rescue uh, Reese? None of our current units can rescue Reese. That's not good. I give that a, that's not good. There's like a million people right here. Okay. Um, it's got a lance. Everybody here either has a lance or a, or a sword. Hmm. I wish I could run him over here and then run him back, but that's not something we can do. I guess Oscar could rescue Reese. Hmm. I have an idea. Maybe. Can anybody shove Reese? Guys, come on. Your constitution must be horrible if that's a skill in this game. His weight is four, her weight is five, his weight is eight. That's why they can't shove him across. Oh, boy. This could be a big gamble right here. This could be a massive gamble. All right. Since he really needs some heals. He's like almost at half health. We're going to do a really big gamble. Uh, okay. Um, rescue. We could have him run off, but it may not be the best idea. So that currently fucks up his speed and skill. Though his defense is still going to be doing pretty well shoot this guy across the tree. Nah, not a good idea. Maybe Alana could hit him with magic across. He could. She could. Her only, like, problem would be fighting off against this, uh, this, uh, this dude. But I think she'll be fine. Hopefully? I guess we'll have to see what happens. We'll have to see. All right, fuck him up, Alana. There you go. He's close to death. Rolf could come in and finish him off, though. We would need Titania to kind of, like, rescue him. Can you shove Alana? You can shove Alana. Mm. Okay. Shove Alana out of the way. Then we'll have Titania rescue... Then move into place. Alright, that should be fine. Sure, we're carrying a bunch of people, but that's okay. Yeah, you can try and fuck up Ike. It's, it's not going to work out all that well. <laughs> Good try, I guess. Good try. Going after that house. That's not good at all. Um... 
Yeah. I'm like, that's not good at all. Okay. There's gonna be a lot of people walking up on us. Oh, Oscar's do Oscar got a lot of experience from that. Okay. They all just want Oscar dead so badly. It's just like, please, please let us kill him. Please. It's like, why do you want to kill this one man on a horse this badly? It's like, we just hate horses so much. It's like, well, you, you can die. Oh, God, that is not good. A good, a good job leveling up, but damn, you are hurt. What? That is a dog shit level up. Like that is pure dog shit. Like you should you should be disappointed in yourself, Oscar. You should you should <laughs> you should go back to the first Thanksgiving and take turkeys off the menu right now. Like that is Ooh, A grade dog shit. Like you are you are you are horrible. <laughs> As, like, one of the only couple of Cavaliers we can even have in a game, I am disappointed in you. Disappointed! <laughs> Alright, we'll have Marcia visit this house. Eek. H humans. Yeah. Um. Urk. Urk. Ah. Uh, oh, come on. You're so rude. If you can't tell, I'm playing dead. So go away. Huh? Why? Because my mother told me. If you ever meet a Baroque, play dead and they'll leave you be. It's not true, is it? Hiss. I knew it wasn't true. I knew it. Well then, take this and get out of here. Quickly. I hate humans. I don't want to talk to you. Hiss. Shoo. Alright then, thanks for the whatever the fuck this is. I'm fucking the hell off. Alright, Ike. Uh, you're not doing well, are you? Hmm. Do you have any items? You do not. Okay, uh... Well, Ike, um, you are in danger. I'm in danger. You're from Crimea, aren't you? I'm a warrior of the Beast Tribe. Lord Ranolf smoke of you. Doubtless you have noticed that Fort Titania has been taken by Dane forces. Watch your step around that bunch. There's a dangerous mage with them. We of the Beast Tribe find magic, especially fire magic, particularly threatening. I am waiting for my for friends and cannot leave this house, but I would give you this. If you use it, your magical resistance will increase. It will help you fight that mage. Take care. I got a talisman. That's cool. I'm like, that's cool, I guess. Alright, so yeah, they are they do have fire one of them has fire magic. Okay. You are not doing well right now, Oscar. At all. She has an elixir, that'll help you. Um, if you could use this elixir and get better, that would be great. There you go. He is much safer now. Much better than being like almost fucking dead. Actually, no. I've got I've got a good I've got a good idea over here. How far can you go, Mist? Right there. I'll go like right here. Don't worry, Mist. I'll get you experience. I'll get it to you somehow. Let's see. There you go. Mia is just extremely frail. Like, uncontrollably frail. Uh, I'll just have Soren back up the back in case somebody were to come out of nowhere. Alright. Um. Okay. My idea is to kill off this guy and then have Titania move up one. And then kill some people. Oh, she's gonna crit. <laughs> she's a crit machine now. Good shit. Or as you may say, good crit. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and then have Titania move up one. Uh, Titania's gonna have a really hard time hitting that guy. Hmm. I guess she could just kill that guy. Um, I'm just worried about, like... Well, the sword shouldn't be hard for Oscar to block against. It's all the other stuff going on around him that's harder for him to block. <laughs> Good try. You're dead now, though. You are very much dead now. Okay. 
Everybody's doing their part. It's up for them, but that is okay. I am okay with them sitting in the corner. No, don't hit Ike. He's got a very supple face. What the fuck? Why is... Uh, Ike is not doing well right now. Ike needs help. Ike needs help doing his taxes. Don't you dare hit him. Ugh. Okay. I could probably sit here and be fine, but I am scared. They are all approaching on him. They're just like, we need him. He will be ours. It's like, well, we need him to get all the way back to actually seize the point. It just hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Can you please stop hitting this one dude? Please stop. He doesn't even level up good. He's only got... He got one in skill this entire map. Okay. Ike is in pain. She can't even really help him currently. She has to kind of drop off Boyd somewhere where they won't try and attack him. Or actually, it might be a good idea to drop him off very close to there, but I don't know. I'm just going to go ahead. Drop Boyd. Then miss. Ah, uh, it's like one off. Shit, okay. Um, things are definitely going over here, I'll tell you that. Okay, um. Come on, Alana, fuck him up. There you go. I just like cringe every time, because like, I hope it hits. Because L Thunder can just be inaccurate sometimes. Alright. Got him. Not a good level up, but thanks for the speed, I guess. Sometimes you just get horrible level ups that do not help at all. Okay, um... I'm gonna go ahead, get closer. We might be able to finish this guy off on this one turn, maybe. Because this guy is dangerous. He's going to... He's going to fuck up a lot of stuff if we leave him alive. Ah, uh, this is just... It's just a bad situation all in all. Alana can probably take a hit from this archer if... If need be. If need tells him that it must be. We'll just have, uh... Titania... Just kind of see if she can soften that guy up a bit. Come on, become soft. All right. So he's got seven health left, so... I believe that Alana should be fine. Okay. Uh... We do have to worry about Ike quite a bit. Though, if we equip the Human Slayer, it should be fine. Because it allows him so much more... He do, It doesn't actually give him much more avoidance, but he will be killing things in one hit. Um, That could work. That could work. They just have horrible hit rate. I'd rather kill this guy off so that, like, he's not able to hit me at all later. Okay, Ike, do it right! There you go. Do it right! So if Ike gets hit by any of these any I was going to call them vampires. If he gets by hit by any of these uh, pirates, yeah, the map is pretty much over. That's actually a really good level up. Better not die, Ike. Better not fuck up the plan. The plan is Stan, and Stan is the plan. Let's see. All right. Just going to have them move up and get prepared. All right. <laughs> Better not kill Ike, or I'll kill you. I'll take up the disc and throw it away. All right. Come on. We're just hoping on a lot of chances for Ike to do good. Do good, Ike. Come on, I believe in you. Yo ho ho! Huh? Yo ha ha! What a ragged bunch. Scallywags the sea we are. 
We will not lose to the likes of thee. All right. Are you sure? Because it doesn't... It looks like you're, you kind of suck. I shouldn't say that. I'll drink myself. All right, Ike. Dodge this shit. Oh, yes. Ike is the hero. You are the hero of Koridai. This place is Koridai now. Suck it. <laughs> oh, God. We barely fucking survived. Yeah, okay. They're not going after Alana. I mean, she has that ability that makes it so that she won't be gone after. All right, Ike. Let us human kill. Let us human kill. Random dudes that showed up out of nowhere. Scallywags, let's see. Are we? And then, like, this is quite worthy. He is now dead. Why did you show up, Jimmy? I don't know why Jimmy was here. He felt like he wanted to be the boss. He's not the boss, but, you know, he tried. Holy shit, that's a really good level up. Except for magic, but that's okay. I guess his survival of that entire event has made him much stronger. Alright, we're having Marcia uh, go ahead and heal him up. Or bring him over. And then Mist will heal him up. Okay. Boyd was at like 10 health. I was like, <laughs> nope, we're fucking off. <laughs> at least that worked out correctly. You are still very much dying. All right, Alana, go ahead and... This hurts to exist. Okay, go for it, Alana. You have 76% chance to hit. Come on. Ooh. She hits when I want her to. That's all I want. That's all I need. Okay. She's doing okay. Now we can finally drop off some of the units that have been sitting inside these guys' assholes for a while. Drop Reese off. Sit here. Drop... Uh, Rolf off. Move up a bit closer. We go, like, right here to help defend Alana. Yeah, they won't move no more. Okay. Go ahead and do this. You right here. Rescue. And then take the fuck off. Take off, motherfucker. Take off. All right. Heal. Heal. Yeah, this map can take a while. Like, this episode's been going on for an hour and six, eight minutes right now. So, yeah, this this map can... This is a very large map and a very long map. Let's see. Well, now that we're finally ready, we have to deal with these guys. Night Killer. All right, so don't walk in with a knight. Just don't do that. I think Boyd could probably kill him. Boyd, the murderer of men. Boy murders man. Good. Let's see. Uh, you really need some help. And uh, Reese is willing to give that. And since he's been inside you the entire map. Have you ever had another man inside you, Reese? Oh, what am I saying? <laughs> of course you have. Let's see. Have you gotten to the Cloud District lately? Let's see. I always forget. Hmm. I forget the triangle of magic. I think it's... Is it wind is good against lightning? Uh, thunder is good against fire. So it'd be good to fuck you up. Yeah. I mean, you guys won't move, so this is a fine range to throw shit at you from. Oh, my ear. Oh, ear my ear. You are quite sneered. There you go. It'll do no damage. I think that's mostly just because Alana has a very high resistance stat for some reason. She's just been she's been cultivating it. What can you say? All right. Um. I think we're fine how we are. We need them to try and attack Alana, so that they get fucked and then Alana kills them. Alana's just that cool. Uh huh. Keep trying. <laughs> I'm like keep trying. 
Mm hmm See, Alana can become a beast. Let's see. Go ahead and drop Ike right here. Ike is quite weak. Let's see, Marcia didn't get to see any battle, but that's okay. She doesn't need to currently. There we go. We need Ike to be as healed up as possible, because he is... He got really fucked up during that last fight. Uh, Soren, could you go over there? Because that guy has wind. Fire should be good? Yes. And they can't do any damage to him, because he does have a pretty high... What's it called? Thing. Very high resistance stat. Also, he's going to hit three times. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. I do not know. I guess just twice. Eh, better than once. Okay. Have Alana finish off the other mage, because these guys suck. He's got one health left. Why did you crit when he's at one health? <laughs> I guess it does guarantee the uh, hit. It guarantees that it'll hit 100% of the time whenever you see the crit animation. Oh, my ear. See if she gets a good level up. Probably not, but we'll see. That is not bad at all. That is not bad at all. Quite good. All right. Um, who else needs heals? Let's see. Let's see. Go ahead and heal up. Tanya. Get that. Oh, he got his staff up. I don't know what's that. Uh, let me see. He's at staff level B. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and... Hmm, I don't know what to do. Just kind of wait for Boyd to come around. You guys can just hang out over there. That's fine. Let's see. Alright. Oh, I just need to text somebody real quick while you're watching that animation. Uh, staff. And now Ike will be able to go all the way around and sit on the throne. It's kind of a throne. <laughs> this random thing in front of the, in front of the thing. Random thing in front of the thing, the thing, thing. Let's see. All right, we're going to have everybody band together to deal with this fucking dude in front. She turned back into a dude. Into a, a dude. It just takes forever for some of these maps to finish, and therefore... It just kind of becomes, like, one episode is one map, which kind of sucks in some ways. All right. Let's see how this goes. My dad was just asking me if I'm working tonight. Because it's really snowy outside. Like, this is Jan January 7th when this is being recorded. It's pretty much been a snowstorm all day. So, yeah. I'm going to have to dig myself out of the out of the parking lot tomorrow when I go to work. Death to the rogues who defy Dane! Defend our brethren! Erase their shame! Uh, I don't know, dude. Oh, God. This guy is trunk. Does he have a, uh... Let's see, what weapons does he have? He does have a javelin. Which could be dangerous. Okay. I have ideas. I need you to actually hit him. I need you to actually fucking hit him. There you go. 100% chance. So the idea is just to, like, pick them up. Just pick everybody up and then run away. There you go, Soren. Okay. <laughs> really bad level up there, but at least we got magic, I guess. Alright. You got this, Senec. Oh, damn, he can double you. Okay, um... Ooh! You hurt. You hurt so bad. Okay.
Ooh, dodge. Good dodge. Oh, his weapon level leveled up. The hell did he get? He is at C in axes now. Okay. But our magic users are going to be really hurt. Let's go ahead and do this. Boyd is fine to kind of keep in front of the enemy because it seems like it's really hard for him to even try and hit him. Uh, let's see. If we can get Marcia over there, she can act as like another rescue bot. The rescue bots from Transformers. I will now transform into a small stick. <laughs> What's the point of that transformation? I have no clue. See, he healed for like three. <laughs> Boyd, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. He better not crit you. Oh, he's got a javelin. Why is he got a javelin instead? Weird. Oh, it's because he doubles you. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. That makes a lot more sense. Bad level up. Really bad, Boyd. Boy, I'd give that a zero out of ten. Okay, Boyd, you are now going to go away. <laughs> you are now going to go away. Let's see. Mend. Yes. Bring our Boyd back up. <laughs> he was really fucking hurt. <laughs> I was just like, damn. Uh, there we go. Let's see. All right, we'll bring Ike over here. Bring Marcia over here. Th we're on turn 15. Fucking hell. <laughs> This is a long map if I want to get everything from it. And not die. What, you get three health back? Nice shit. He still has his javelin equipped, so he will kill us. Ooh, yeah, I, I ain't trying that. I'm like, I, I, I ain't trying that shit, man. All right, Boyd. <laughs> this just, it hurts. It hurts me more than it hurts you. Actually, it does. Completely correct. Uh, I don't know if I should pick up Boyd or not. I don't know. She could kill him, but he will kill her. It would kill him. Okay, good. Good to know. Good to know. Who has more defense, anyway? Uh, three defense versus four defense. So barely any more. Okay, um, as long as this guy doesn't crit, Boyd should be fine. Come on, Boyd, it's a one-on-one -on -one fight. You got this. Even if he gets all of his health back, it doesn't matter to us. He just needs to die. I don't know why. I guess that one speed that Boyd got allowed him to not get doubled by it. Good job. All right, for some reason he decided to equip the Night Killer. Really bad idea on his end, because that means that we can literally just take all of our all of our mages and just pummel him. Time to get pummeled. Ah, fuck. Yeah, the accuracy of that is not the best. All right. Come on, Soren, pick up the kill. Yes, pick up the kill. Okay. There we go. We finally got rid of the boss. Oh, 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 in the name of the Empire, cleanse my shame. I'm dead. Big sad. I go big sad. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I don't care. I got an arm scroll. All right, I finish up this map already. This is taking forever. Let's see. We defeated their commander. We still don't know what they're after. They were after. It seems unlikely they were merely pursuing Princess Alencia. I wonder if Dane is planning to invade Gallia. Perhaps Crimea was only a stone on which they wet their blades. No matter the motive, the fact remains that Dane crossed the border. Under such circumstances, hostilities between Dane and Gallia could break out at any time. So, it's war. Again. If war erupts between the Baroque and Lagoos, it's only a matter of time before other nations become involved. Could Dane truly mean to set the land aflame in a blaze of war? If that happens, many of our citizens will be sacrificed on the altar of their ambition. We too need to choose which way to move, whose side to take. Whose side 
We shall never support Dane. Unthinkable. Captain Titania, we are human. <laughs> Would you truly have a side with those sub... With Lagoos against our humans? That is unthinkable. Baroque and Lagoos. Are you going to sit here and argue about a war that hasn't started? You Baroque are also timid. It's pathetic. Leaf, you must not say such things. Mordecai? Leith? What do you think? Will it come to war? Our claws are sharp. If Dane invades Gallia, we are ready for battle. If our king wills it, war will come. I like it not. War brings pain. Sorrow. This is troubling. Enough. We have lost much time. Let us make for the palace. We must reach tonight's camp before the sun sets. Is the palace still far? On your skinny Baroque legs, it is very far. We will still do as we can. I mean, we're walking across an entire country, so it makes sense. Castle Gallia. Oh, I guess we made it. Damn. <laughs> My Lord Ike. Everyone. Princess Alencia. I heard about Commander Grail. I... I don't know what to say. Don't worry. We're all right. We're getting by somehow. Oh, Ike. The king has arrived. Uh... Hey there. Thank you for coming to Gallia Palace. I am Canagus, ruler of the Kingdom of Gallia. These are the Grail mercenaries. I am Ike, their commander. You have been raised well, young pup. I didn't recognize you. What? When, when last you were here, you were still a small child. Is that you, Titania? It is good to see you. The pleasure is all mine, your majesty. The two of you are friends? How... how does the king know me? Hmm. I have something I must tell you about your father, Grail. Leith, Mordecai, leave us now. Prepare rooms so our guests may have a place to rest and heal their wounds. At once, my lord. Would it be best if I were to leave as well? No, princess. I would have you stay. This one will also stay. Gifka. This is Gifka, my shadow. Pay him no more heed than you would the heir. Interesting way of saying that. Understood. I would have Titania and Soren stay with me as well. Me? So be it. Now then, where to begin? Titania? How much did Grail tell his son? Ike was raised with no knowledge of Gallia whatsoever, nor does he recall ever having been here. Is that so? Then it, it be best for me to tell him all that I know. Although, that is not much. That's alright. Whatever you can tell me would be much appreciated. I want to know more of my father. Hmm. You have good eyes. Honest and brave. I see your father in them. Long ago, Grail, your father, worked as a mercenary for Gallia. We forged a strong bond, he and I. To speak truly, I still do not trust the Baroque, but your father was different. Princess Alencia's father, King Ramon, and his brother, Lord Renning, are also of a different kind. All are, or were, exceptional men, men in whom one could put his trust. Oh ho, Titania, you are an exception as well. Among Baroque females, you are unique. You are, you are most gracious, your majesty. My father was a mercenary for Gallio? Correct. And you and your sister? You were both born here in Gallia. So I guess Grail really is Ike's actual dad. You stayed here only for a short time, but part of your childhood was spent here within these borders. Mist and I were both born here? Is that so? I don't remember any of this. I feel your parents were carrying a dark secret. Someone was hunting them, I'm sure of it. Once, or ten years ago, and after your mother had been slain, your father chose to leave Gallia. Before he left, I went to him and asked him to share his tale. I asked him, why are you being chased? Is there anything I can do to help? But I was unable to loosen his tongue. And then, I heard he had returned to Gallia, 
I thought another chance. I thought I had another chance to hear his tale. His fate was black indeed. As if I had been faster, if I had hastened my steps, perhaps things would be different. Wait, now I understand. That voice I heard, that was you, wasn't it? His wound was fatal. I could do nothing. I thought it best not to interfere in his final moments, so I remained hidden. Tell me, Ike. At his side, did he confess anything to you? The identity of the Black Knight. Did he reveal it? The Black Knight? No, I don't know who he was. My father entrusted me with his command. He told me to trust King Kananagus and to live peacefully in Gallia. He said to forget everything else. Is that so? Well then, let me do as I can. If any of your mercenaries decide to live here, I will so arrange it. I will vouchsafe them homes and land. Your kindness is, very, is truly appreciated. But speaking for myself, I couldn't live here in peace. Not now. I will avenge my father. I cannot so for quickly forget the past, or the Black Knight. But, Ike, that's not... I know. I'm not... I'm not strong enough. An opponent who could defeat my father is well beyond my reach. But that's why. I devoted myself to growing stronger. I will lead my father's mercenaries. And prepare for the day when my chance for revenge arrives. A prudent course of action. You look as one who have been more impulsive. But you are Grail's son after all. Ha! Huh. You've matured, Ike. Seems like yesterday you were merely a child. Tanya. And now, I would ask a boon of you. The strength of your mercenary band. Ike, would you lend it to Princess Alencia? Are you serious? King Kananagus. Gallia and Crimea are allied nations that cannot be denied. However, this alliance in rea reality binds only the royal families. It is not respected by our citizenry. The people of Gallia are seldom seen in Crimea, are they? Even though our nations are friends, the people of Crimea have little real understanding of the Lagoos. Many of our people still use that undignified name, Subhuman, when they speak of the Lagoos. My father's heart was filled with such shame and sorrow over what you describe. More than any king in our history, he wanted to deepen the relations between our people. And then... Perhaps that is why Dane targeted him. Their hatred of the Lagoos is well known. Could it be? In my heart of hearts, I would like to take guardianship of Princess Alincia and assist in the rebuilding of Crimea. However, an anti-Baroque sentiment is running high here in Gallia. If we were to offer safe harbor to Alincia, I feel many of our er elder statesmen would protest. They would say that we are giving Dane an ideal excuse to attack. Which means, Gallia can't offer Princess Alincia any relief at all. Is that it? Unfortunately, it is true. My Lord Ike, King Kananagus has advised me to turn to the, the Begnion Theocracy for aid in Crimea's restoration. He says that we should make of by <laughs> He says he says we should make of Begnion make of Begnion a formal request and gain the support of their shields. Passage to Begnion will require several months at sea. An escort will be necessary. As you know, we lack the numbers to serve as a complete mercenary army. So, if the princes were willing to hire us as an escort, it would be an offer beyond our expectations. Titania, Sorin, I think perhaps we should accept the king's offer. What do you say? It's what you want, right, Commander? Well then, it's our job to follow you. However you, wish to however you wish to proceed is fine. We'll do all in my power to ensure our road leads to success. Understood. As of now, the Grail mercenary shall assist shall assume honor of serving as an escort to the princes of Crimea. Princess Alencia, our journey together will undoubtedly be long. May, may we serve you well. Oh, thank you very much. I only pray that I, in turn, be worthy of your service. Oh boy. This has already been a long episode, but we need to make it until we get to the next base, so let's keep going. An hour and a half episode. This is almost as long as a stream, so. You know, you better appreciate that I'm doing <laughs> for <laughs> And I die. Chapter 10, Prisoner Release.
Hey, Ike. I heard you're leaving. Going to beg Neon, eh? Hello, Ranulph. I was hoping to see you. I want to thank you for everything you've done. I'm grateful to have had the chance before I leave. Well, aren't you the dutiful one? Hey, that reminds me. You were born here in Gallia, right? I knew there was something, something odd about you. You're awfully friendly for a Baroque, you know. Oh, you might not know but what a Baroque is, but... <laughs> I know what it means. It's what you use, what you call us humans, right? Oh, I n knew that, did ya? Well then, let me tell you something else. When we use the word human, it... We mean it much the way you Baroque do when you call us subhuman. Really? It's an insult to be called human? I'm glad you told me. I never would have guessed. I should warn you, if you run across any Lagoos who call you that, be careful. They're no friend of yours. Got it. Thanks. I won't forget. But I've digressed long enough. Let me explain while I'm here. Why? Huh? Princess Alencia may have a may I have a moment of your time? Y yes, of course. The king asks that I give you this. Please accept it as a gift. What? May I ask? Within the that leather pouch is twenty thousand golden pieces. Baroque currency, of course. Oh, I truly appreciate this generous offer, but a gift of this magnitude is something I can't accept. I something I can't accept. King Canaanigus has done so much more than necessary already. The king is ashamed that he cannot, at this time, provide any personal support. Please, will you accept his apology and acknowledge his desire to aid you? But no? Well then, let's try this. Yes? You accept the king's gift, and as payment for conducting you safely to Gallia, you hand over to you hand it over to Ike. Um come on, Ranolf, you can't expect her to accept this. It's an outrageous fee, no matter how you look at it. Twenty thousand gold for the life of a princess? Perfectly reasonable. In fact, it's almost borders on insulting. Consider how you have suffered, the lives you have lost. Ten, no, hundred times this amount would not be unreasonable. I I have reconsidered. I will accept the king's kindness. In turn, I will present it to you, Lord Ike. Will you, you will accept it, will you not? I... I will. Thank you. No, my Lord Ike. It is I who must thank you. You got 20,000 gold. Very nice, Caesar Chan. Well, now that that's settled, let's move on. Fortunately, we don't have any ships here in Gallia. If you find it... If you, if you are to find a ship that will take you to Begneon, you must return to occupied Crimea. If there's no other way, we'll just have to risk it. No matter how cautiously you proceed, you're certain to run into Dane forces. Keep that in mind. I understand. It's too bad we're short on soldiers. Still, there's not much we can do about that now. However, I, can, I will review our supplies carefully before we depart. In regard to your personnel troubles, <laughs> the king has decided to lend you what, he, what aid he can. Leith, Mordecai. I will join you. Mordecai and Leith? Both of you? Are you sure? None of the others could stand the idea of traveling with humans. <laughs> I thought you said that's not my friend. <laughs> I must... I myself tremble with loathing at the thought of going to beg Neon, but... When the king gives an order, obedience is our only option. That may be, but having witnessed the combat prowess of Galleons for myself, I know how fortunate we are. We will not fail you. Yes, I have no intention of becoming friends. Do not forget that. And stay out of my way. <laughs> you must forgive Leith. Her, her tongue cuts as deep as her claws do. I will return once I've reported to the king. While I'm gone, please finish your preparations for departure. Very well. Ike, here's the summary of our last battle. We got uh, 170 bonus XP. Very nice. Our MVP was uh, Ike, and we got like five new uh, fucking <laughs> allies. That's insane. There were no casualties, and no one suffered permanent injury. We fought excellently. That's all I have to report, if you'll excuse me. And if you'll excuse me, this has been a long-ass episode. An hour and a half, so... I could split this into two, but I don't feel like it. It'll just be a very long episode, so... Next time on Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, we're going to go ahead and head back to Crimea and try and get to Begneon. 
And before I end this episode, I want to thank all of my YouTube members, including the Disciples of Epsilon, Trey Lafari, Gray, Phoenix, Shell Bagan and Hummus, Darcy Lanfranco, Freddy, and Yuki. Without you all, this channel wouldn't stay afloat. So thank you for all your support, and I'll see you guys next time!